to Australia, where the Indonesian Navy took part in the 16th Kakadu multilateral exercise in Australia with KRI Igusti Ngurah Rai 332, engaging in complex drills alongside 33 nations. The vessel joined tactical exercises and hosted cultural events to strengthen defense diplomacy and enhance inter interoperability. The Indonesian Navy took part in the 16th Kakadu Multilateral Exercise in Australia, running from September 9th to the 19th. The biennial event involving 33 nations, 15 warships, and a submarine, and also 15 aircraft highlighted the importance of international defense cooperation. Representing Indonesia was the state-of-the-art warship KRI Igusti Ngurah Rai 332, part of the 2nd Fleet's escort unit. Fleet Commander Rear Admiral Ariantio Chondro Wibowo led the ceremonial inspection affirming the contingent readiness for the complex trails in Northern Australia's exercise area. After a voyage from Surabaya to Darwin's HMS Gunawara Naval Base, KRI Igusti Ngurah Rai 332 join the harbor phase. Speaking during the opening ceremony, Commodore O'Greedy emphasized the need for cooperation and safety during the phase. Participants then attended briefings at the Royal Australian Air Defence Base to ensure smooth operations during the sea phase. KRI Igusti Ngurah Rai 332 also engaged in sports and hosted a cultural reception aiming to bolster multilateral ties. In the sea phase, the vessel, commanded by Colonel Ahmad Hassan, took part in tactical drills, including anti-submarine warfare, surface firing, air defense exercises, and a replay simulation showcasing multinational cooperation. After 14 days of exercises, KRI Igusti Ngurah Rai 332 had departed Darwin with Colonel Asan underscoring the value of skill improvement and fostering international 